Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Check us out at shopmoto.com for all of your riding needs. Today I'm going to show you the all new Michelin Starcross 5 tire lineup that's coming at you right now. So Michelin has introduced four new tires in their Starcross 5 series lineup. They were really able to improve on performance, traction, handling, braking, cornering, all through extensive testing and new technology, they were able to achieve an amazing result. Now, things like the CCT, which is their comfort case technology, it allows more flex to the tires. They're now much lighter by using a two-ply versus a three-ply, and of course, an all-new tread pattern and having four tires to really nail down the specific type of terrain, this will give you the winning edge. So what we're gonna do here is just keep this video short and sweet, give you the information that you need to know so that you make a better choice with this new Starcross 5 Series lineup. So as I mentioned before, these things feature the CCT, which is our case comfort technology, and that's gonna allow more flex to the tire, which is gonna result in a number of benefits to you as the rider. For one, they're gonna absorb more energy, which is going to reduce rider fatigue, and they're gonna allow you to run these tires at a higher air pressure while maintaining flex. And running higher air pressure prevents the tire from slipping off the wheel. Now these things are also much lighter, according to Michelin, 15% lighter. And they achieve that by going with the two ply versus using a three ply. And they're using a higher density rubber, so it won't interfere with any of the strength and durability of the tire itself. The biggest difference between these tires is obviously the tread spacing. The tighter the blocks are, the harder the terrain the tire was designed for. So for instance, if we take a look at the sand tire, which by the way is all new in general because it now has a match to the rear, you won't have to mix and match anymore within the Michelin sand tire lineup. You're gonna have large spacing in between the blocks. You also have these huge notches cut out of the center blocks. This is going to help cut through the soil, also give you that floating feeling, which is what you want in a sand tire, and it's gonna to help to evacuate the soil much faster. These would work great if you train on a sand track or if you ride at a track like Cohia Creek, for instance. Now, the soft tire is a little more versatile. This is for muddy, soft, loamy, sandy conditions. Paula Raceway often gets like that, so these would be a great option. But there again, you can see that it has a much different tread pattern to give you better traction, handling, braking, cornering in these conditions. As for the medium, this is the most diverse tire in the Starcross 5 lineup because it's going to work well in many different types of conditions and terrains across the board. So for example, compact, firm, muddy, rocky grounds. So think tracks like Milestone, Glen Helen, Paris, Sunrise, and even some trail riding. We got to do some testing of our own with this medium tire and the results were quite impressive. Of course, this is our own experience with tracks local to us. So just use them as an example and compare them to a track in your area. With that being said, that leaves us with the hard tire. Now, this is gonna come in handy in the SoCal region because we have a lot of hard pack rocking conditions. So you're gonna have this really tight spacing in between all the blocks. You have this alternating pattern, which is gonna give you more of a biting edge, more traction, also give you a better footprint and a better contact patch. Now, if we're talking about the rear tires, they have very similar patterning or block design as the front. However, I wanted to call out two tires. That would be the rear soft and the rear sand. These are pretty unique. We'll see that it has these mud phobic bars according to Michelin. This is going to help to break away the soil even more so, so that's gonna give the tire even better self-cleaning properties. As for the rear sand tire, you can notice that you have these really large scoops and they also have a tread block design within them. So this is gonna do a great job at giving you that traction that you're looking for out of the rear sand tire. Now again, the only tire that's not shown is the rear hard, but again, it has very similar block patterning or block design as the front so that you get a better idea of what it looks like. So there you have it. I hope this gives you a better understanding of what these tires can do and what they will do for you. Now, take our experiences with these things, compare them to your own, get a set for yourself, and leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think of these things. We're excited about them. I hope you are too. Again, you can find all of the unique sizes on our website, shapmoto.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for hanging out today. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.